Welcome to this YouTube video. Today I'll be running through a workout I do when I have a basketball game or basketball training session. I'm going back to my first basketball training session tonight, first one since my big surgery, so I'm really excited. Uh, so I don't want to burn out. I mean, my, my fear when I'm doing basketball is that I've trained hard in the gym the same day and it's going to take away from my performance on the court. So today it's going to be very GPP, so general physical preparedness, so just general exercises you know nothing too complex nothing too hard we're running at about an rpe 7 so if i feel myself really grinding for that rep i'll stop because that's not the point of this uh, the point of this workout is just to move you know get some resistance in the muscle you know give some resistance to the movements and just kind of general just training uh you know we're not working out per se we're not maxing out we're not really pushing ourselves we're just working through the movements and just getting some blood into the muscles and just kind of working on conditioning in a way so anyway let's go to the gym and I'll show you what I'll be running through So when I'm training like this, I'm giving myself plenty of rest. Uh, the, hardest, the hardest thing with a hex bar deadlift for me is the, the grips. I went rock climbing yesterday for about an hour and a half and my forearms and my hands hurt quite a lot. So it's actually quite challenging to do that, but the moving the weight itself isn't very, isn't very challenging. Um, probably RPE six, you know, that 10th rep that I'm doing, we're doing four sets of 10. That tenth rep isn't isn't too difficult. So, just getting through the movements. I'll be doing this. I'll do uh, pull ups and press ups, kind of staples of military training, and uh, just general, you know, general exercise. And uh, then I'll do some walking lunges, and that'll probably be it. Nothing too crazy. Might do a a core exercise like a, like L sits, you know, holding your legs out in front of you, or a plank, or you know, something. But We'll see how it goes. I, those four exercises that I really want to do were the uh, hex bar, trap bar, deadlifts, pull-ups, press-ups, and walking lunges. Uh, so let's uh, let's continue. So deadlift's done. My hands are killing me. I don't know if you can see how red they are, but Jesus. Uh, so I'm gonna do press-ups now, give my hands a little bit of a rest. I'm gonna aim for five sets of 20. Again, nothing too crazy. Um, I know I can do 40 press-ups in a minute. I've done 82 press-ups straight before, so without, you know, obviously without putting your knees down. So, um, Five sets of 20 shouldn't be too challenging, but yeah, again, I, uh, I'm still only just gone 12 weeks post-surgery, so <laughs> it can't be, uh, you know, don't want to push myself too hard, but we'll, we'll see how I go. So the standard for the RAF fitness test is 20 press ups. So, you know, it's, that's minimal standard. You, everyone, everyone in the uh, 
every male in the military should be able to do more than 20 press-ups easily and, uh, and then females there uh, 10 press-ups so uh, Lizzie who you saw before my girlfriend she really struggled with press-ups before now she can do 10 press-ups easily uh, easily compared to before so you know that's the the minimal standard you should be hitting and hopefully I'll be doing five sets of that so when it comes to a fitness test when I'm able to do one again and uh should breeze it should be should be nice and easy for me the fitness test shouldn't be a test you should be able to go to the gym and then go and finish your fitness test the hardest part for me is the, <laughs> the sit-ups uh, I think it's because of the amount of abdominal surgery I've had it's just that start of the movement is really hard for me um, obviously I've now got two scars so I've got one going on here from multiple multiple surgeries I think it's been opened at least at least eight times and now I've got this one going down here so I haven't done the sit-ups actually <laughs> since surgery so I don't know how that will go uh, but yeah principle still stands that you should be able to do the minimum fitness requirements easily and obviously remember I'm only training like this you know sub maximal RPE six seven because I've got two, two hours of basketball training later. So, you know, that's why I train like this a few times a week whenever I've got something else on. Um, this week I've got, um, I'm on placement at the hospital this week and next week uh, because I missed one of my placement blocks for my degree through my surgery. So I've got two weeks to catch up on, you know, certain things I need to sign off for, for my degree. And, uh, so I've got you know back to back to back long shifts, um, and then next week I'm you know doing five days on, so it's going to be re really pressed for time in the gym. So I don't think I'll be able to max out next week. I'll be doing you know maybe hypertrophy, but then that'll really take off from the next day. I might be achy all day at work. It'll mean I'm tired. So these kind of training sessions are great to do kind of every day. Uh, you know you're not going to be pushing yourself. I used to do bodyweight training every day, every day, even you know, even weekends. And I got in really good shape because I was just doing the same thing over and over and over again, um, working, you know, similar muscles, similar movements, not doing the exact same movements, obviously, but, you know, working the same, similar movements every week. And they just became easy and easy for me, you know. So if you can't do 10 press-ups, you know, do is, say you can only do six, do six, and then try and do six, you know, maybe several times in the workout, give them a good rest. Next day, do six again. And then eventually you'll, you'll be able to do seven. Then you do seven sets of seven. Then you'll be able to do eight. And you know, you build it up like that. That's how I did it with press, um, not press ups. That's how I did it with pull-ups. Uh, years and years ago, I couldn't, I couldn't do 10 pull-ups. So I just practiced and practiced and practiced. And you know, you can do the accessory movements as well. You know, you've got your lat pull-down machine. You've got other movements that you can, that you can use to help with that movement, but at the end of the day, it's only that movement that will improve the movement, if you, if you know what I mean. So anyway, that's enough talking from me. Time to do more press-ups.
Oh. There we go. That's the workout done. Those lunges are, are legit. I need to do some more of those. Because that last rep was that last set was quite difficult, so he's trying to get back into that. So that's the workout, obviously. I'm out of breath in those lunges, but overall we were working at that on RPE 7. Got basketball training in uh, well, at 8 o'clock, so five hours. So got plenty of time to recover. Well, just under five hours. So gonna get some food in me and I'll rest up and uh, go play basketball. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and record some of my basketball sessions this season. Try and get the games recorded, show some highlights. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, this isn't any guidance on how you should train. This is just how I train on days where I have other things like a, like a long working shift. I do a general workout like this or on a day that I have basketball, I'll uh, train like this. So I hope you enjoyed. I uh, look forward to the next one and uh, keep training hard.